I'm in Wisconsin, where the Menominee, Milwaukee, and Kinnikinick rivers all come together and flow into Lake Michigan. This is one of the oldest and now newest neighborhoods in my hometown of Milwaukee. Cause these are main streets. Something about a hometown speaks to me. There's nowhere else I'd rather be. The heart and soul of communities right here. On these main streets. This week's main street is not a street. It's a waterway that has been moving goods and people for centuries. Milwaukee's inner harbor, which combined with its outer harbor, have come to be known as Milwaukee's Harbor District. Before white settlers arrived, this entire area was a rice marsh and home to generations of Native Americans. And of course, the harbor attracted developers because developers knew that a harbor meant transportation for goods in and out of Wisconsin. So for a period of time, this was the economic hub that served industries all over the state. But there are even people from Milwaukee who say, where exactly is the harbor district? So listen up. It's on the western bank of Lake Michigan. It's south of downtown Milwaukee, south of the Third Ward, north of Bayview, and it's east of the interstate, I-4394. There was a time when there was a push to call this neighborhood the Fifth Ward. No, it didn't stick. I think it's perfect that they call this old and now new neighborhood the Harbor District. How are you, Beth? Hi, I'm good doing to see really you. good. Thank you. This is your company. It is. Yeah, you started how long ago? Nine years ago. Nine yeah. years ago, and we're now in a neighborhood that's called the Harbor District. When you came here nine years ago, do you know what the neighborhood was called? Um, not the Harbor District. It wasn't, it wasn't, was it? <laughs> no, we love it here. It's a great spot on the river. We are in the Harbor District. Mm -hmm. We're in this boat yard, and um, we have over 100 kayaks. Canoes, stand up paddle boards, um, tandem kayaks. It's really, really fun. And yeah. yeah, it's like an oasis right in the middle of the city. Well, how far do you suggest they go? Yeah, they can make it miles and miles and miles if they want to. Yeah. yeah. People come here for long weekend trips or just a day trip. And honestly, a lot of them do come to go kayaking on our rivers. It's amazing. It's, it's great. Yeah, yeah, it's really cool. They also give historical tours on the river. It is really great because there's much history in these <laughs> history on the river. Wow, if this is like magic. Hey, John Gerda. Hey, John, how are you? How are you? Just fine. If you don't know John Gerda, we did a show for nine years in Wisconsin. He was our historian for all nine years. And so today I'm a favorite flashback. <laughs> yeah. <you are>. <laughs> <laughs> 88.9 Radio Milwaukee is a catalyst for creating a more inclusive, engaged Milwaukee. Hey, 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 oh, okay, it says it right there. You listen to 88.9 Radio Milwaukee. This is Tariq, AKA The Architect. Thanks again for tuning in this evening. Hope you I used to be an architect. Gave up my job to do this. It was, they had a mission, they had a purpose beyond just being a radio station. You know, people love your station. And oh, people, I appreciate that, yeah. People um, certainly respect what you guys do. I mean, our focus, not just, you know, music, but highlighting amazing stories in Milwaukee, people doing amazing things. So, like, these are multiple studios. Yeah. Uh, this is my little cave, whether it's the music, the stories, our events, whatever we do, I try to figure out how we connect them digitally. Find something you love, you'll never have a job, is that the there quote? You go. So, yeah. I'm, I'm very blessed. Is that how you're feeling? That. Yeah. We're talking the same language. <laughs> People are like, I want your job. It's like, get in line. You know what I mean? I've heard that you, um, you've you lived here a little bit. Uh, 36 years in June. 36 Plus, years. Yes. Yeah. This is Clock Tower Acres. Because you are in the shadow of oh, yes. what, what I knew as the Ellen Bradley Clock Tower. Oh, yeah. We still call it the Ellen Bradley. You do? Bradley. Okay, thanks. I didn't want to. I didn't want to be wrong here. We've got lots of nice neighbors. Yeah and uh, we enjoy being here. This is a really interesting housing stock throughout this neighborhood. It's really a mix of, of housing style. Oh yes, absolutely. This is so reminiscent of where I grew up. You could touch the dining room window of the house next door. <laughs> yes. The houses are close. Right, yes. Yeah. Oh, go ahead and pick a tomato. Do you mind? No, go ahead. Would you like to share one with me? Mm. That is sweet. Excuse me, I have one more. Mm-hmm. 
So does Perry help you back here? He cuts the grass. He cuts the grass. Well, that's... <laughs> and it takes him all of five minutes with a beer break in between. <laughs> I'm at Barnacle Buds. It's been here uh, close to 30 years. I've been here, I've been here a dozen times. And just so you know, I never know how I got here or how I ever get home. So it's, your name is Gene. And Gene, yes, there is no bud. There's no bud? No, well, there isn't. Uh, nobody's gonna go to a place called Barnacle Jeans. <laughs> right. So. right, that was no smart. No rhythm, no That rhythm. was smart of you. Yeah. This place is huge. Okay, you, it, it yeah, really we had it on every few years. Yeah. Of, uh, I told your bride that you should maybe have a second story. What do you think, can you build up? Security? <laughs> Get out of here, my <laughs> You have enough now. I think so. I, I think you've, you've, you have You don't want to get too big, it's just not as much fun. It's right. like, I still get to come out and talk to the people, which is kind of what I like to do. Yeah. You it's know? a pure destination <laughs> place, exactly. isn't it? It is. Yeah. It is. You either come here or you don't. Nobody's passing Nobody's by. Nobody's driving right? by and saw the sign. But they have the same story I do, which is, yes. I have no idea I how I got here. That's why I knew you were here, because you said you didn't know where you were, and <laughs> you were here. You made it. <laughs> Thanks for talking to me. You betcha. It was easy. Well. <laughs> Are you the well, GM on this project? I am. So why did Komatsu choose here and this spot here? Really kind of all the pieces came together. In many ways, this is a homecoming for us because yeah. when we started as PH, PH, just a few blocks away in, in Walker's Point. So 137 years ago, that's where we were, and now we're coming back home. Right, if you only knew you wouldn't have to move away so far. I you know, I know. We could have just <laughs> done it in the first place, now. right? Part of this project is creating and retaining more than a thousand family sustaining jobs. That's the, the goal with all of this. A thousand people making their way to the Harbor District because of Komatsu. That's really cool. That is Milwaukee's Hone Bridge. It used to be known as the bridge to nowhere. Now it's the symbol and the beacon of light for our city. It's 1.9 miles long and 120 feet high. It's a big bridge. Can you guess how many lights it takes to illuminate our bridge? Remember when the American dream was being able to say, I made that, I built that. Wouldn't it be great if your kids and grandkids chose a career that provides that kind of pride with good pay, but without a ton of student loan debt? A four-year degree isn't the only path to success. We need talented people to make and build. Tell the young people you love that skilled work isn't a thing of the past. It's a bright future. Being diagnosed with breast cancer changes everything, and it happens every single day. Very quickly, patients and caregivers are surrounded by medical care, yet emotionally can feel stranded and alone. ABCD trains breast cancer survivors who offer perspective and compassion that can only come from someone who has found their way back. From diagnosis through treatment and beyond, all services are free and virtual. Wisconsin's picture-perfect, historic downtown Greendale isn't just a great backdrop for photos. It's the perfect place to experience history, get a treat for your furry friend or three, grab some ice cream or a different kind of treat, or slow down and relax. Ask anyone who's made memories here. We'll all tell you the same thing. You just gotta see Greendale. So how many lights does it take to light up this bridge? Uh, it was a trick question because I don't know. Yeah. And the guys whose initiative it was to light the own, they don't know either. Seven million. Seven million is how, uh, how many are you thinking maybe? 2,800. 2,800. We'll round up. I told you they have no idea. We'll round up. <laughs> Let's talk about how all this happened. Uh, about <laughs> five years ago, Michael and I were sitting around uh, watching the Bucks game, and it was our first nighttime ESPN game, and they were saying, coming to you live from Milwaukee, Wisconsin, and then they showed a panoramic of the Harbor District, and it was a it's dark black. armpit yeah. of nothing. Yeah. We called each other up, and we said, that idea that's been in the head, we have to do it, and yeah. that's why. Yeah. We said, let's not just quietly go and ask the government for funding to be able to do this. We wanted the community to feel like they own these lights and that they were a part of it. So right. we allowed the community to dedicate bulbs on the bridge for as little as $25. Your photo and your dedication to someone you love or an organization you love will be represented in, on one of our 2,800 to 7 million lights up on that bridge. Wow. And that was really something that was important to us. We, this had to be about more than lights on a bridge. So 
We have a program called Code the Hone in partnership with the Boys and Girls Clubs of Greater Milwaukee, Sharp Literacy, Discovery World, 88.9 Radio Milwaukee, MSOE, that list goes on, yeah. that are all coming together to create a curriculum and a platform where kids can learn how to code, they can build their own light shows, and then once a month we're gonna have kids night on the bridge where they can go down with their family and friends and see their design play out on this giant bridge in front of them. That's, that's a pretty compelling thing to get them interested in STEM and STEAM education. Um, I made you come back at nine yeah. because I wanted to see how this all works. Yeah. And you're gonna show me. Yeah, I so don't where's like the equipment. Day. This is it. No, shut up. This is it. And what'll be great is when people won't ever remember that it wasn't lit. That's the you thing. Know? You know, yeah. you can't picture Milwaukee without the Calatrava and the right. Art Museum, right? And yeah. soon you won't be able to think of Milwaukee without a lit home bridge. bridge. Yeah, it's so. great. Have you ever heard the expression, there's more than meets the eye? Here we're at the grocery and liquor store. Yes, you yeah. were at Don's Grocery and Liquor. Yeah, because back there is... Our TV repair shop. I'm without a TV today. Is there anything else that could help me back there? Yes, you're going to want an ice cold 7-Up, John. I okay, I'd like an ice cold 7-Up. Well, perfect. I've got one over here for you. Okay. Oh, see, look. Here comes one right now, I bet. More than meets the eye. Come on, let's go. Well, look at this. Here we go. <laughs> this is where we do here. all of our repairs. It, our it liquid is? repairs and our TV dinners. Who's Don? Don is our owner, Aaron Grisandi's grandfather, and he was a World War II veteran. Oh, see? So it's a it's a tribute to Don. This room was uh, decorated to be Don's basement bar. It's very Wisconsin. <laughs> this is remarkable. This one was not easy to find. It wasn't? No, or easy to hang up. <laughs> <Right>. <laughs> There's no kidding around here. It's artwork, it really it's is. Our, it, it's gorgeous, <laughs> it is. Which one's this? That is our Cookie Monster Shake of the Month. This is Grandma's Got a New Wig. So it is <laughs> Sophia from Golden Girls. These are something else. <laughs> These scare me in the good way. Our fish fry we serve all weekend long. This is our Naughty Angel burger. There it is. This is the burger that started it all. It's got our Naughty Angel cheese sauce all over it. People come in and they know that there is something back here and they don't know the uh, password. What happens? I huh? definitely like to joke around with people, but I'll let them in eventually. Oh, okay. If you so, say Sprite, you will get kicked out of the restaurant. You're out of here. <laughs> so we're gonna eat. This place is beautiful. It's called White Dress Bridal Boutique. So I brought my niece with me. I know, I'm so excited so, about um, that. So her name is Callahan, and she's been with a guy for five years. Come on. Tick, tick, tick. <laughs> <gasps> Honey. I know. <laughs> I could, oh, no. <laughs> So family and friends, who usually comes along with this person sure. who's going to end up in You know, it really depends. It's usually mom, mm -hmm. grandma, aunts, mm -hmm. and a few friends. Mm -hmm. I always say, bring everyone whose opinion really matters. Yeah, I actually feel really pretty. Yeah, that's better. See, this looks too white. You'd hate me at an appointment. <laughs> no. <laughs> yes, you would. Tell her gay <laughs> uncle to leave is what you would say. How many dresses do you have here? About 250. You do? Mm -hmm. But we'll find her the one, because she found the man. Right. We're not going to let her walk down the aisle in her second favorite dress. It's perfect. I love it. And what's the style? So this is more of a ball gown. It's more of a ball gown. Yes. <laughs> what? We have a lot of brides that are looking for something different. Oh, and sure. a new trend that we're seeing is just a little slit. So you can see That's the sh little? <laughs> Huh? It's tight. I do like it's it. It's what? It's tight. <laughs> you need to really love it, don't you? You have to love it. And yeah. we know, we know right away. Yeah. There's this look where they stop and it's like, you just see it. Yeah. I really like this. Oh. It's so simple. It's so me. Oh. She's got that look. That is very you, this Callahan. very pretty. I said yes. <laughs> <laughs> We're in the middle of the Harbor District, yes? That is correct. Yeah. Uh, it's a family business? It's family owned, family operated. It's about produce. That's so correct. it's about fruits and vegetables. Dairy, spices, oils, and many other good items that we can provide for our they customers. Have it all. You have your, your yellow squash, yeah. carrots. We have it all for you. Those are some sizable carrots. Right? <laughs> By the end of the night tonight, 
all of this would be used up. Gone. 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 Do you get much out of what grows in our state of Wisconsin? Well, we try to buy from everyone. You do? So we will buy from local, California, Nevada. We'll buy from everybody. So this is where uh, we're able to trace all the product that we're repacking so we know where it came from. Oh, these look good. Yeah, they whoever, are. Whoever, whoever grew these grew them really well. Right, that's Where'd what Where these I'm come saying. from? Do you have any idea? Yeah. Cedarburg? Probably. <laughs> You're hired. Part time. <laughs> I'll take you. <ya>. How <laughs> many people work here? On the Vmart Cheesy side, we have at least 200. Really? Yeah. And you're a wholesaler. I can't come up here and knock on the door and say, can I get two pounds of fingerling potatoes, please? Sure. Like, that can't happen. Correct. No. But we, we do sell to grocery stores, hospitals, nursing homes, restaurants, yeah. schools. Look at all these tomatoes. Because everybody sees your trucks everywhere. You yes. know that. Like, that's how they know you, those trucks and your logo, which is the banana. The Italian you know, the, banana. The Italian banana. Look at him. Fresher, you betcha. <laughs> <laughs> I find so much of the Harbor District's past so incredibly interesting. For instance, I am on Florida about a half a block from First Street. Do you know which western suburb had its beginning right there? Next time on John McGivern's Main Streets. A drop. There you go. Well, that's it. That's nice, brother. I made this hook. General Grant, good cool. to see you. Do you resemble Julia? I doubt it. I doubt it. <laughs> you do goat trekking, don't you? It was a whole family in on it? Wait, oh, my wait. husband was like, mm, no. <laughs> we have a great time. It's a lot of fun. Why are you so smug? <laughs> Magic. It's, it's amazing. It happens. Galena. In 1900, the Edward P. Alice Company was one of the country's largest manufacturers of machinery, especially steam engines, and they outgrew this location. So what they did, they bought 100 acres west of here. The Alice Company bought acreage west of here. So that area became known as, <laughs> yeah, not Wauwatosa, West Alice. You should have got that. So we're on First Street. 2018 South First Street is the Lincoln Warehouse. So it's, it has had all sorts of different businesses in it. So the candy hearts that said, be mine, tons of them here, apparently. Really? Uh, used to also be a huffy factory. Oh yeah. So it's still a functioning, functioning warehouse to this day. How many different businesses? I have heard over a hundred. Over a hundred, but none are like yours. I hope not. No, they aren't. <laughs> Would you turn the camera that way? They're watching me get dressed, Jason. <laughs> We're inside the Bustaporium. <laughs> At Bustin' Stuff. <laughs> you just have to know, there's nothing inside me that thinks this is right. Okay. I, I, I so. understand. Because none of us were really raised to do this. You know that. No, not at all. Not at all. <laughs> Let's talk about how this all happened. After I was... Uh, debating on whether I'm gonna retire or not a little early <laughs> from a great career of teaching, my wife said I had to do something. Uh -huh. And so this is what I thought of. Is there a menu of things? Yeah, you can choose from the amount of items you wanna bust. <laughs> oh, there we have it. And then we have the bust art, which is only a few months old. You need to iron these. <laughs> <laughs> Look at this. Anybody can come, yeah. all are welcome. And they all have, haven't they? Oh, almost 8,000 people now. It's art! <laughs> no, I did that. Soul Brew is made here in the Lincoln Warehouse. Let's talk about this business. Let's talk Kombucha, about it. Kombucha, right? It's good stuff. It's great stuff. Yeah. So it's a probiotic tea. Okay. Ours just happens to be sparkling. So it started with the research, just understanding, you know, the industry. Yeah. And I realized that if I were to do this, I'd be the first black woman in Wisconsin to be doing this. That was a lot of incentive. One of the goals for us was mm. making sure that you're able to enjoy it. And then on top of that, making sure that we're able to cut the sugar. So making it diabetic friendly. The cherry bomb just sounded great. Whenever I saw that one, I said it's sweet with a little heat just like me. So you're gonna get sweet notes in the front, a little cayenne pepper and red chili pepper in the back. So you're gonna get it all. <laughs> Hello. Hello. <laughs> That's so good. It's delicious. Thank you. And I love the heat in the back of it's it. It's right in the back. Yeah, because the sweet's great. Gallon of it? <laughs> <laughs> we do. <laughs> We're at Harborview Plaza, which is far east 
on Greenfield as you can get. It's on the river's edge. There are water features for adults and children. There's a 40-foot lookout tower with a slide. There's a place to picnic while watching the boats. There is a public launch for kayaks, canoes, and ducks. We're talking about a company called Greenhouse Surf Boards. Yep. That's your company. Yeah. And it's a surfboard making company here in the Harbor District. Exactly. Shut up. Yeah, Come I know, on. I know. <laughs> when did you start surfing? Uh, during my internship back in, geez, 94, 95. Your uh, internship as a surfboard maker? As a psychologist in Hawaii. Is this the first thing you built? Yeah, exactly. It is. Yeah, yeah. How do you build a surfboard? What do you build it with? Uh, well, currently, uh, you build it with foam. This is the shaping room. Yeah, so this is where we put together the board itself, really moving toward more eco-friendly. So mm -hmm. what I've used is jute from a coffee shop in the area, a coffee roaster, and they have been generous enough to give me as many bags as I need. Really? Because they give them away anyway. What I like about this, though, is it kind of sends a message home that you can repurpose and reuse. Yeah. Things. Is that one of yours? Yeah, this design one. Design-wise yours? So I designed the shape. The artwork was done by a local hat maker. Cool. And w they leave here and go where? Um, Michigan and the Great Lakes primarily. This is a Great Lakes board? No, it's a surfboard. It's and, a surfboard. Yeah. And it's great. Is there good Great Lakes surfing? Occasionally there's, a, there's exceptional Great Lakes surfing. There is. Yeah. 20 years ago, mm. there was a handful of us. And now, as you likely know or, or have seen, it's it's quite the thing to Sizable. do. Sizable. Oh yeah, without yeah. question. Like you'll get a text from a friend or check the website and they'll say, oh, it's breaking and you just have to stop everything and go. And do you wetsuit it most of the time? Yeah, I'd say 90% of the time you have to wetsuit on. And if you've built some boards. More than most people in Milwaukee have built, without question. <laughs> Every community owes a debt of gratitude to its veterans. We join the people of Milwaukee honoring and remembering all of those who served. Have you ever been to that place? That place where there's always something new to see? Where there's always something new to learn? That place with so much beauty that it fills you up with joy. That place that speaks your mind and your heart, where inspiration feeds your soul, and where the wonder of the natural world is always growing. Ryman Gardens at Iowa State University. This is that place. John McGivern's Main Streets would not be possible without the generous support of our sponsors for believing in our mission and committing to supporting our upper Midwest communities. Thank you so much, sponsors. This is a tough day. <laughs> this is a tough day at the office, isn't it? You know there's more, tons more at MainStreets.tv because we know too many people in our hometown. Is your last name Violia? No, no it, it is not. not. It is good. not. It's so good. Find me on social media or go to our website. This is gonna be fun. So we have about 7,000 unique bobbleheads on display at the museum. 7,000. Uh, yeah, so we started out you know, with our personal collection and then from there we've had people who donate, bring them in, send them in. Our best selling bobblehead of all time has been Dr. Fauci. We've done, I think now, six or seven versions. <laughs> we came out with it in 2020, I April. Would, uh, here we go, yeah. take a look at that. Do you create them as well? Yeah, we do. So, so how does we, that work? Yeah, we come up with ideas both uh, on our own and people, we have a wall here where people can put a post-it of bobbleheads that they want to see made. Mm -hmm. So we put uh, a lot of those into motion. We'll show them my bobblehead because yes. I do have one. My mother was like, that's not you. I am in the radio and TV personality section here at the Bobblehead Hall of Fame and Museum, but I'm gonna move myself, I think I'm gonna move it down here which is kind of the religious section. If you had your ways, like mine would look like me, right? Yeah, oh yeah, for sure. And there's do you want to make yeah. one for me? We do, yeah, I think that'd be great, yeah. <laughs> so Phil said that 70% of these bobbleheads are sports, and I just don't know enough about sports. You know who would know a lot about sports is probably my, my brother, Michael. I live here. <laughs> this is the best place ever. Did you yeah. see your brother's bobblehead up front? 
Um, I, I did, yeah. I, I'm sorry. <laughs> you look like somebody else. I can't figure out who. Colin Powell. <laughs> oh, there it is. That's who it was. <laughs> Thanks, Mike. Thanks, John. <laughs> That is one of Milwaukee's greatest landmarks. It's the four-sided clock at Rockwell Automation. It's one of the world's largest four-sided clocks. It's been giving the time to people since 1903. It is so large that it's a visual aid for mariners on Lake Michigan, the Allen Bradley clock. We're at the restaurant called Momo Me. This is Kim and Tony, you are the owners. Momo means thumbprint, uh -huh. and uh, me means noodles. So thumbprints and noodles. I think we should go to the kitchen. Can can sure. we go in there and? Of course. Yeah. Don't expect too much. No, okay, no, no, no. Thank no. you. <laughs> okay, very good. <laughs> this is made with the pork. Pork. Yes. Uh, this looks like Jello. Soup Jello. It's soup Jello. I've never soup seen jello. this in my life. Nine, ten, eight. 11, 12. <laughs> so put the meat in the center. Mm -hmm. A piece Soup jello on top. Just on top. Yes. OK. So once we wrap it and we steam it, then it becomes a soup inside. It's a soup inside. Oh, yeah, it's, mine's going to be just like that. Get in there. This cannot sell. Why? It can't sell? Because once the cook is steamed, everything did out. Oh, it would all leak out? Yeah, all did out. OK. So, OK, just so, keep practice. We can do one more. OK. Or not. Not. <laughs> <laughs> do you eat these every day? Um, I, I would love to. So I haven't seen this before. This is the steam tables. These are different than pot stickers, because pot stickers do not have soup in the middle of them. Excuse me, pretty girl with a tray coming through. Oh, thanks. You OK. Re you want to release the ball first, put a little hole on the side? That's how it works. Yes. Mmm. Ready? Yes. <laughs> Ooh. I've never had that before. It's, okay. it's beautiful. It's really delicious. Yes. Milwaukee's Harbor District. These main streets and waterways speak to me. I feel like a strange order of monk. Hey, in there, quiet. <laughs> You're making me nervous, John. Mm -hmm. <laughs> You're not the first to tell me that. <laughs> okay, it was a crit. It was a cricky. It was a crit. <laughs> <laughs> this is a reject. Reject. I made it. But it is an Cut option. Cut the camera. I want to know this answer. <laughs> <laughs> I know.